morning morning everybody michelle is here michelle is here on uh, november the 8th 2024 and it's a friday 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 you know the time that a lot of people look forward to so to, you know hopefully you can spend time with yourself or you know which is extremely important especially with what i'm about to say and as well uh spend time you know with the, those the people you love you know it's about love it's about universal love and what i'm about to talk about it's already too late to uh, to change certain outcomes of things. You know, I told you cause and effect, um, you know, is real. And, you know, you reap what you've sown, boomerang, blah, blah, blah. You have to take in, you can have to take in considerations of all of that. And, you know, and because a lot of us were indoctrinated and unconscious you know, hallucinating and, and, and delusional, you know, a lot of things just were taking place behind the scenes. There's always a backstory to everything. And I told you this backstory started, uh, as far as my experience of it, my personal experience of it in the, um, you know, it, I mean, it started around the time of my birth in the sixties. It may have started in the fifties, but definitely, you know, around the time of my birth in the sixties. And then of course, during my adolescence, you know, the 60s and the 70s and, you know, and, the eight, and up until the 80s. Um, I told you in one of the videos that um, I, um, I, there was, there was something going on in the background, obviously, to, uh, paint a different picture of the narrative of what black culture was about. Okay. And, and I, I talk about black culture because that's, <clears throat> that's my, you know, that's my reality. You know, um, I, I'll, <clears throat> I've said over, over the course of so many times, you know, it would be disrespectful for me to give a perspective on the European experience, the uh, Latino experience, the Asian experience, the uh, Native American or American Indian experiences, except from what we were taught, you know, in school, which was not much, okay, not at all about certain subjects. And so um, I'm, I'm sensing that, um, you know, this eroding of cultures, you know, and it started with the American Indians, right? Or the Native Americans, right? It started, you know, that erosion. You know, we have a we have a we have a policy out there. Um, or maybe it's an amendment. I'll have to look it up, but there's a, a policy out there where um it's in the constitution, by the way. <clears throat> for those of you <clears throat> for those of you that, you know, swear by and, and live by the Const the US Constitution, where it's legal to kill certain people, to eliminate certain people, and what to consider human beings. You know, they're not human beings, they're property. Okay, they're, you know, so, and I talked about that, okay, to, to illustrate to you, like I said, so how important it is to control your narrative and, and, and really, really understand what's going on in your own backyard. Literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay, so um, believe it or not, I had a great, I mean, I had a great revelation, you know, last night. Once I got in, you know, I started listening to some music, which, you know, for some reason, you know, even though I love music, I love it. For some reason, sometimes I don't want to hear certain sounds and tones of music. I really don't. Because... I am, I gravitate and I resonate to the sounds and tones of music from the 70s and the 80s, parts of the 90s, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's where I resonate. And the reason being is that's what was played in our home when I was growing up, you know, that in the 70s, you know, there was a certain sounds and tones that we, you know, cause my mom was playing music all over the house. And, and I think that's why so many of us who had that kind of experience possibly developed a little bit more, you know, you became a little bit more developed 
and you were starting to kind of pay attention a little bit more. You know, you were, you were, you were, you were waking up, you know, as they say, you were awakening, which you're already awoke. <laughs> um, but so when I was listening to those sounds and tones, you know, for, uh, last night, you know, when I got in, um, because something, you know, and I, it'll make, it'll make sense in a minute <laughs> for those of you. And I want to send love to those of you out there and I, you know, and I appreciate your support, your silent support. I know you are listening. Okay. And I, and I appreciate that. And I, um, and I told you, you know, the dangers of our situations. And I think you accept you. So you understand, you know, how I, why I do what I do and why I say what I say and why I have to put out the breadcrumbs because if you try to eat too much of information, guess what? You're going to kill yourself, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. You know, consuming so much of anything is going to cause you to lose your life. So and that's, that's including educating yourself or claiming to be reading books. Okay. And that's where, so, so I told you, when you trust yourself and you take full responsibility and accountability for yourself, and your behaviors and actions, and you have the courage to suspend your ego. Your ego is suspended. It's there. It's not going nowhere. It's a part of you, but it doesn't run the show. Sometimes you have to let it, you have to suspend it and allow it to just remain there. It's there to protect you, yes, but at the same time, it does not run your life. Okay, you, the, you know, the flesh and blood of you, run your life you're responsible for your development so growing up in that household as i got plenty of videos on that you know the black culture experience you know and that's what i call it because that's what i experienced the black culture experience okay and i can remember being provided for as i said and but you know there was a lot of chaos in the house there was a lot of chaos in our house as we grew, were growing up okay i made that very clear um, you know, there's, there's, there were some struggles in there and a lot of it is with consciousness, you know, which I realize now, but it was just about how, how, how all of us in this small house, cause it was a small house considering, you know, with all of us, how are we going to manage to get through all of this? This is what I was asking. You know, I don't know if my other, you know, I don't know if my parents were asking that question or my other siblings, but I know at a very young age, I became aware of a little bit more, you know, I appear to have been, you know, you know, awaken a little bit more so in my development. It was almost like uh, my consciousness tapping me on the shoulder and, 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 and getting me prepared for these times, these moments, these timings. And, and I, could, I told you about the vivid dreams I used to have. I used to have, um, you know, vivid dreams, lucid dreams, terror dreams, dreams of terror, waking up out of a, out of a dream or, you know, some people call them nightmares and just like, whoa, what the hell? And then doing everything in my power to wake every, and it was like, everybody in the house was out and I couldn't wake anybody. Like trying to wake my brother, trying to wake my sister, try to call out to my parents, blah, 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 blah. So, so it, it, it caused me to pay attention a little bit more, even if I wanted to or not. I couldn't deny what I was uh, sensing and receiving about my environment and about, um, you know, my life. And I didn't know who to talk to about it. So luckily I, I mean, not, well, it's not that I talked to her about a lot of things, but I did have a, a godmother that I used to go to her home. And um, I enjoyed our time, times together because she, she taught me a whole lot of things. Um, I think I started to recognize that something was going on in our home, but I knew love was there. There is no doubt about that. So we're go I'm going to fast forward a little bit because you know I got I got plenty of videos that will bring that will make sense now it makes sense to me and I know it's gonna make sense to others some have reached out to me and said so 
And uh, these are young people, by the way. And that's who I am, in, more, in most cases, talking to. It's the uh, descendants. It's, you know, the children, the young people, the ones that are, uh, that had a, you know, a proper development during their adolescence. And now they're possibly in their 30s, more so approaching their 40s, you know, they, they, you know and up, of course. But, the, you know, these are the, the people that I am addressing, you know, the human beings that I'm addressing when I, you know, and that, that was my intention. It was about the young people, and I said that, you know, my, my, my young people, my young relatives, you know, something for them to feel, something for them to understand, and something from the, you know, and so I, you know, I, uh, I know that I put a, put some sounds in their ears, for a lot of them, and because, and there's a reason for why they are resonating to what I'm saying more so than, you know, people in my age range. There's a reason for that, okay, and we we won't discuss that right now. So, the music, man. Like I said, I had avoided listening to that music that brings me, it brings me a lot of joy, but it opens up a lot of stuff inside of me, you know, which is beautiful. Okay. And so let's make that very clear. The fact it is beautiful because it's, it's, it's necessary n nutrients that I need for my consciousness and how to develop myself. And I, and I put out a video the other day, um, let me see what the name of it was, you know, where, um, where I said, let me see if I can find it. I just want to find the title of it. Um, well, there's, there's several of them, what, but there's one that I said, you know, love and gratitude and thankfulness to my parents, you know, love, you know, definitely. Woo! I'm so thankful to them because they allow, like I said, they allowed me the space to to develop myself and to, even though you know, even though there was you know chaos in the house, there's always going to be chaos in the house. It ought to have been not violence. Keep that in mind. We didn't have violence, but we did have chaos. <laughs> okay, we there was, and my mom was complicated. My dad was complicated. And therefore, Michelle is com complicated, I'm sure. <laughs> but yes, you know, when I listened to that music, it was like, whoa. It started to open up things that make sense now. And it's, you know, it's the, the, the intentional indoctrination of our realities and who's behind it. Okay. And, you know, each one of us are going to have to figure things out. You know, you, you know, I got this information some time ago about certain things. You know, I, I've been given, I have been given information about what has been happening over the course of our lives, over the course of time, you know, it, you know, in, in, in the form of, you know, of a teacher. And I told you who he was, and I'm not going to mention his name because that's irrelevant. Figure it out. In, in other words, figure things out on your own. And enjoy that process. You know, enjoy it. You know, it, it, it's beautiful. It really is. Even though there are some troubling times ahead. Troubling. And I know for a fact that a lot of people, like I said, around my age range are not going to resonate because of the, the, the intensive, intensive, intensive indoctrination. Manipulation. Deception. And, you know, and, and this strong, this strong held beliefs, you know, you have these strong held beliefs about things, strong held faith about things, strong held, you know, you know, uh, 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 acceptance of, you know, of illogical realities. And I talked about that as well, also known as supernatural. Okay. Hey, I'm just wanting to, you know, bring you up to where I am. So a lot of people, like I said, I'm so thankful, know what I'm saying, but I'm just, I'm doing everything I can to kind of reach my age range, really. Okay. My age range, you know, 
okay, my age range and up, which will, which means you were possibly born in the uh, uh, 50s, 60s, you know, I mean, actually, you know, you were born in the 60s or well, 70s back, okay, 70s back, because that's when the damage was done, basically, you know, and so we were young people at that time. And so we were um, sheltered. My mom sheltered us, you know, that's what parents were doing. And so we, because of the way we were sheltered, we developed a certain type of imagination. We developed a certain type of fantasy. We developed a certain type of reality. And a lot of it was, didn't exist. But that's what, that's what young minds do, right? We understand that we have our fantasies, we have our imaginations, we have, you know, our wishful thinking. This, you know, that that that's the, that's the process of how we develop ourselves. What we didn't have is the proper methods of how to think properly. None of us, and even even today, but a lot of people are figuring they figuring things out because of the results they were getting. I, you know, once I start speaking to people, you know individually or a group or whatever you know those are the discussions and conversations we need to have okay um but yes so what we were not uh given the opportunity to do was to know how to properly think it was already hands in that pot so to speak to uh distort our realities of who we are what we are and why we are okay i told you in our home we were all fed and clothed and get, uh, given the basic necessities i mean we had a backyard for peak's sake who has backyards now we had a backyard and we had a front yard but we were told by my mother who you know who was the head of the household that we play in our own backyard okay and we did so literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, by the way. In other words, we don't we don't infringe on anyone's property. We don't trespass on anyone's property. Okay? That was that was that you you were liable to get the beat down. And I mean that. <laughs> okay, my mom didn't play it. Okay, even though she was disrespected by, you know, some of our neighbors, you know, back in the day, my mom stood her ground you know, with some of our neighbors, um, who were, who were attempting to infringe on our, you know, our property, because it was our family property. Okay. And, and, it, and it happened, you know, usually it happened when my dad wasn't there, of course, right? Of course. Uh, my, my dad was a masculine and I told you he had that masculine energy. He can, he can build a house, he can tear it down. Okay. But then he has that softness and the love and the gentleness and kindness to take care of us and my mother and the grandchildren and the great grandchildren. Okay. All right. When you are given that, that proper space, which we don't have anymore, by the way, um, to, to develop yourself, that's the treasures of life. You know, it's a treasure. And when I listen to the 70s music, 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s, more so 70s, you know, it stirs up stuff in me, okay? Because that's a, that is what we heard in the house household, you know, that the, those sounds and tones and the beats. And, you know, and I talked about um, uh, some of the artists that was just prevalent in our ho household. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. Say some of their names, you know, just give homage to them. Al Green, Curtis Mayfield, Earth, Wind & Fire, Marvin Gaye, you know, all that, that genre, which stretches out and not to mention, you know, Billie Holiday, um, you know, and, 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 and that, and that, and that genre as well, Nita Simone, all of that, all of that, all of that, gospel, black gospel music, like. You know, I, <laughs> it, it's, um, it, you know, it was beautiful and it was amazing because we did not, our parents did not force any type of religion on us, thankfully. 
<laughs> I mean, in the beginning, my mom used to have us go out. You know, that's that's the thing about her that was, you know, even though she was complicated, she was brilliant too. <laughs> you know, when she needed her peace of mind, because I think she recognized she needed some peace. And I would not be able to step in her shoes ever. And I would not ever want to, to deal with what she had to deal with. You know, the children, my father, her husband, okay, um, the in-laws, okay, and some of the young extended family members. You know, my mom had to, my mom, you know, my mom had her personality just like anybody else, but she stood her ground. And that's, that's the courageousness of who she is, you know. And, you know, and she may have projected, and I th I'm sure she did, uh, you know, because I told you we're both masculine and feminine, okay? And she projected that masculinity to protect her property. That household and that property was, my father got that for us, okay? Not for the family members, not for the in-laws, you know, the extended family members or the in-laws. No, okay. Anyway, let's make that clear and effective, okay? And it makes sense, and it brings me to a whole lot of things. And uh, I'm going to say just a little bit more on this video, but then I'm going to come back and, 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 and explain to you what, where am I, what's my culmination point to this conversation. And I'm going to do the best I can, as I have with all of my videos, to be clear and effective and give you just so much. But you, the individual, have to be willing to change your thinking modes and suspend your ego. If not, then swipe and move on. Please swipe and move on. But I'm addressing this more so to my age range. Okay. The young people in their thirties, I mean, I say forties, thirties, you know, twenties, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'll discuss a little bit more about their, um, challenges ahead. Okay. But I have to get in the heads of, you know, these intellectual, the most more so intellectual talking heads, you know, the know-it-alls, you know, the geniuses, the scientists, okay, the professionals, you know, I know what I'm doing, generation of people, which are the people in my age range, you know, I know, I, I know what I'm doing, you know, um, um, you know, they, they rely so much on their intelligence and they will, and, and, and they're clueless there. Okay. No offense. Okay. Because it's not about intelligence. If the intelligence that you bestow upon yourself is, was faulty and garbage from the beginning, meaning that knowledge of it to attain such knowledge that you so-called have is faulty. Okay, garbage in, garbage out. So it doesn't matter how many books you read. I mean, a lot of people are not reading to comprehend. They're reading to just get, just, just get through it. And some of you, I would say 80% of you, possibly have not read a goddamn thing. Haven't stepped foot in a college. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. And, and and because I'm 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 coming to the, the, there's a there's always there's always a reason for what I do, okay. And I think about things clearly and effectively as best I can to resonate properly. And I told you sometimes you got to change your sounds and tones when talking to people. Sometimes you have to raise your voice and be a little bit forceful to snap people out of it, okay. We are on the verge, and I've said this, of destroying this planet for it, it. This will be the sixth time. Okay. Six times. Okay. And it, it relates to Atlantic's and Atlantic and Mu Atlantis and Mu Mu M U. And I am going to do the best I can with my age range because they, they are the most, they're, they're the ones that have caused the most devastation and catastrophe. In other words, um, I, I, I put out another video, you know, Rome, they say Rome wasn't built in a day. And a lot of people always say they, well, who the fuck is they, right? Who the fuck is they? Well, 
you know, stay tuned and I'll share more. Trust me, I will be back.